Hello entrepreneurs. Welcome to another episode of Entrepreneur Fundamentals. My name is Robert Biddo. Today we're going to talk a little bit about keeping a diary or as they say journaling. Now in all of the entrepreneurial literature and the people who talk about entrepreneurship on YouTube, you hear journaling uh, coming up here and there. It, it comes up along with the importance of having a, a morning routine or the importance of reading books or exercising or getting the right sleep and so on and so on. Well, I'm advocating keeping a journal, not for the same reasons maybe that other people do. And I'll tell you my reasons for why I do. I've been keeping a diary ever since 1992 when I bought my first brand new computer. And 24 years later, my diary is between six and 7,000 pages long. And it chronicles every single day of my life. I've skipped here and there. And on trips, I take the good old fashioned paper version, usually a, a little binder or a pre-printed diary book, you know, that I can just write down things in. And why do I think this is important? I think it's important for several reasons. First of all, if you write on a daily basis about the day before or your thoughts about the past, you know, 12 hours or whatever, it gives you a pause in your day to reflect on things. And then you can analyze things while you're writing. And it, it just helps keep your mind clear, I think. And for me, it's important because it's also important because I want to remember all of these things that have happened to me in great detail. And you can do that when you write things down. You'll have vague memories of something that happened five years ago. You know, maybe some important lesson you learned. But if you write it all down at the time, you can return to that and read it and you reflect on it and learn more and grow even more, I believe. So I advocate it on a personal level, big time, but if you're a business owner, more so. You always have to be analyzing what you're doing and you always have to focus on learning from your mistakes or from what you're, or for what you're doing. There's also a benefit to keeping a diary that's connected to your business. If you're a family business, let's say the, the tired uh, old examples I use, the taco shop or the furniture store in Iowa. If you're a mom and pop store and you're going to pass this business along to your kids in the next 15 years, then it would be interesting for them to read about your challenges and what you did 15 years ago when they were little kids or whatever. And it'll be good for you to pass that on to your kids along with the business, a chronicle of what you did and how you got to where you are. And one other big benefit, and this is personal, once you keep a diary, you will never forget any single day in your life, okay? I can call up my diaries on my computer and if I'm curious about what happened on May 18th, 1994, I can pull up that day on my di in my diaries and read it and there's going to be something that I wrote about that's going to jog my memory and I'll remember that day. It's really kind of strange. But I always go back to my diaries and, and look at things and it causes me to reflect on what I'm doing now also. It, there are just too many benefits to doing this and it only takes maybe about 20 minutes a day. That's what I spend. I wake up in the morning and I do my morning routine and that's part of it. I usually write right after breakfast. So I think it's beneficial and I encourage everybody to keep a journal, keep a diary. And if you're an entrepreneur, have most of it focus on your business and jot down the details and what you've learned and what you're doing and revisit it later. It, it'll help you focus and help you grow.
and help your business grow. That's all I have to say on this. Thank you very much for your attention. And until next time, remember to always work hard and may all of your entrepreneurial dreams come true. Thank you.